기억이 있을 거야. 미국 놈들이 여길 다 불바다로 만들 거라고. 네가 아는 모든 게다 사라질 거야. 그게 무슨 말인지 안다고 생각하지? 넌 몰라. 난 알아도. 파시코 시즌 2. 알 so 파시코 is a series on Apple Plus. It tells the the Bayek family as they are journeying. From South, from Korea to Japan into 1980s uh, Japan. So the story, you know, the first season of the show I really liked because the first it, it followed two narratives of the story of the same family. It followed this girl named Senya who uh, moves to uh, moves to Japan after being pregnant and and then trying to find a way in this life. Uh, and then in the other part of the story, you follow Solomon, who is a financial uh, broker guy who's into like a real estate, who's trying to um, make a name for himself in this uh, booming economy in uh, in uh, Japan. So the season two, it fall. Basically, we have World War II going on. They're tr the family is trying to survive. They're trying to survive poverty. They're trying to ensure that they can keep the the people the the mouse fed and so it was and then it's just also a journey about Noah who's trying to figure out who he is and then eventually finding out the origins of his birth and you're and then because you know we don't see Noah in the the modern day storyline so it, it was kind of interesting to see what happens and I'm interested to see what they do with his character moving on in the story do we see him maybe in a in a, another timeline that would be kind of interesting to see where he goes and uh or maybe he just disappears so that would be kind of interesting too the 80s storyline was uh interesting as well because you just keep following on with uh this uh, with uh solomon who is trying to he's trying to make a name for himself but he's kind of got himself involved with some uh, bad people i really like this show this show is so good it's not a show everyone's gonna like just because of the ang of the uh, language barrier of it being three different languages: English, uh, Korean, and Japanese. Really, English is only in there. It's like me sprinkled in there. Like there might be five minutes of English, but I'm okay with that. I watch a lot. I watch a lot of subtitle stuff. And if you watch this show dubbed, I don't think you would get the same uh joy out of you as you would and the show is just you know it is it is kind of like a tragedy i was reading a review or just a summary of the events it is kind of like a it is that kind of thing but i really i had to say i just really like the show i love history and you know the koreans were treated pretty badly by the japanese and to see this show uh kind of show you this outlook i thought it was really interesting Overall, guys, I really enjoyed the second season. She goes one of my favorite shows of the year. I don't know where I'll rank it. My top 10 TV at the end of the year with uh, Rady Cage will be very interesting to do. So I'm, I look forward to because I'm pretty sure Vajigo will make that list. I'm just uh, very interested uh, for next year for, for to see it. So, guys. What are your thoughts on the Chico Seagulls 2? Whatever they are, comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about using the nation. All too easy.